वेलकम चिल्ड्रन टू द वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑफ सोशल साइंस स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर फाइव इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी सॉ अबाउट द डांडी यात्रा दैट टुक प्लेस फ्रॉम मार्च ट्वेल्व टू अप्रिल सिक्स नाइनटीन थर्टी Now, why this particular dandi yatra was done? Because to break the salt and unjo- un just salt law that was implemented by the Britishers. Okay, we also talked about the constructive things that happened during this dandi yatra. Okay, and we also saw about the Gandhi Irwin Pact that took place in the year. 1931 between Gandhi ji and Lord Irwin who was the viceroy of India at that time right we saw that due to the Gandhi Irwin pact Gandhi ji attended the round table conference second round table conference that happened in England but it was also uh we can say useless or it was totally failure because the t- terms and condition that were put the, up by the britisher were not as per the accordance of the gandhi ji today we are going to see about the quit india movement quit india movement quit india movement say keeping in mind the whole world war situation the congress committee working committee decided to end the individual satyagraha in 1942 Now we know about World War Second. Okay, Second World War started in nineteen thirty-nine and ended in nineteen forty-five. Okay, so the Second World War was going on, and our people were very, very generous. So the Congress Working Committee decided that we will end up the individual satyagraha, which was started in nineteen thirty-nine, and they said that we don't want to add more trouble to the Britishers. That's why we'll end up our satyagraha because Britishers cannot concentrate on two things at the same time. So they ended up. The British government attempted to deceive, deceive is cheat people of India by Cripps mission. They, okay, they wanted to cheat people by Cripps mission and divert the attention of the people, and that's why they send. a committee of the british parliamentary mem- members who was headed by lord cripps okay and that is known as cripps mission so the indians were very angry and dejected and due to that people got angry therefore people of india no longer had faith in british see after almost 200 years people decided that they will not have faith in british rulers they assumed that british did not wish to quit india Gandhi ji advised the people to come out of despair and prepare to get a new and last fight. So Gandhi ji said that you should prepare for a new and most importantly last fight. He said this words. Why he said this words? Because he was of a very old age at that time. Now in 1942 when this movement started up, Gandhi ji was almost 73 years old. So he was of a ripe, very ripe age, and that's why he said that he, this was his last fight, and a fight in which he could give his hundred percent. On August ninth, nineteen forty-two, a resolution for Quit India movement was passed in the Working Committee of the Congress held at Mumbai. On the second day of the resolution, okay, as soon as the British came to know, Gandhi ji, Vallabh Bhai Patel, Jawaharlal Nehru, Maulana Azad, and other eminent Congress leader were arrested. Okay, so what British had done? As soon as they came to know about this particular movement that India, this Congress and Gandhi ji are planning a movement against the Britishers, and they did not want it to turn this movement same like the non-corporate movement, and that's why on the very next day of the announcement of the movement, they arrested the major leaders of India. Newspapers were banned. See, regional. and district level congress leaders were arrested simultaneously not only the main leaders but also regional and the district level leaders were arrested arrest of gandhi ji and other leaders resulted in nationwide strike and due to this gandhi ji said this is my last fight in my life and therefore people of india should make all attempts to achieve the independence he said that this was his last fight because he was almost 73 years old and that's why he said 
that people should give their 100% in this and that's why they gave a very important slogan do or die do or die means either you have to give 100% to drive this britishers out of our country or you have to die as a slave of this britishers and that's why do or die karo ya maro that slogan was given by gandhi ji now during this quit india movement there were strikes also taking place okay so let us see about them strikes during quit india movement the rural and the urban regions of the country included workers farmers youth students teachers businessmen and women were in the front line of this movement each and every person started included in this movement worker went on strike in the factories iron factories in jamshedpur and cotton mill in madras were on strike 1 lakh workers of 75 cotton mills in ahmedabad went on a peaceful strike for 105 days that was one of the longest strikes that happened in the history of india colleges and school observed strikes even college and school were closed so people started giving their 100% okay on the call of gandhi ji for nearly 3 and a half months market in ahmedabad were closed see. almost for 3 and a half months the markets in ahmedabad were closed now what were the harmful activities that took place during this quit india movement angry british government was being expressed for every nook and corner of the country suppression against peaceful people of the british by the british led to violence as britishers were trying to suppress this movement there were violent situation taking place and people were even taking help of violence and they were ransacking means destroying the post offices telegram department police station railway station government buildings school and college building railway lanes pool bridge and roads and looted the assets and set fire of the government purpose in simple words anything that was connected with government was destroyed by the people in this railways incurred a heavy loss because the rail lines were uprooted okay many coaches were burned and due to this there was a great distress into the india at that time in many of the areas people use even bombs even bombs were also used failure of the government to s- in struggling the crushing the struggle the government tried to suppress the movement with hard hand hard hand means by lati charge arrest and all other things the struggle started from a small end to a large extent and now the struggle which started as a small end was now a big extent more than 70000 people were in present 538 gunshots were fired 1028 lost people lives 3200 people were injured okay as per the government reports there was a heavy damage students were injured in gunshot especially in ahmedabad and patna see even students who had taken part were injured in ahmedabad and patna we need to remember that in ahmedabad there was a strike almost for 100 five days right and almost for three and a half month the market were closed and that's why there was always a protest there was always a strife between the police and the common people a unique political consensus was created among the people see now people were politically very conscious awakened the movement gave clear warning to british government and a message to the world at large that india cannot be enslaved the slow, the message was clear that india cannot be enslaved anymore the struggle really signaled by the people of india to britishers to quit india okay the people of india now wanted full independence the amendment of dominant status was almost invisible by this struggle okay and that's why people were not ready to take anything less than independence after the struggle of 5 years india achieved independence so this particular movement started in 1942 and almost for 5 years this continued and we got independence in the 1947 so we can say almost for 5 years india had to struggle to get independence from the 
ब्रिटिशर्स द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज आजाद हिंद फौज एंड सुभाष चंद्र बोस सुभाष चंद्र बोस वॉज बॉर्न इन कटक इन उड़ीसा स्टेट ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड जनवरी नाइनटीन एटीन नाइन्टी सेवन हिज फादर राय बहादुर जानकी नाथ बोस वॉज अ गवर्नमेंट लॉयर इन ब्रिटिश जुडिशरी हिज मदर पार्वती देवी वॉज अ फिलोथ्रोफिस्ट ओके फिलोथ्रोफिस्ट मीन्स अ पर्सन हु डोनेट्स लॉड ऑफ मनी ओके प्रिडिक्शन वॉज दैट दिस बंगाली लैड लैड मीन्स बॉय विल बिकम सिंसियर सर्वेंट ऑफ ब्रिटिश ओके इट वॉज दैट ही वॉज अ वेरी ओवर सिंसियर एन एन एडुकेटेड एंड गुड पर्सन इन स्टडीज बट ही वेंट ऑन टू बिकम अ स्ट्रॉन्ज फ्रीडम फाइटर इंस्टेड बिकम अ स्ट्रॉन्ज फ्रीडम फाइटर After passing the examination with good marks from the Calcutta Presidency College he went to England for further study see he studied in Calcutta Presidency College and he was a very popular uh student at that time for further studies he went to England he passed the very difficult ICS exam that is Indian Civil Service that is equal to IAS exam in India IAS that is Indian Administrative Service exam if you want to become collector commissioner or a high post uh, bureaucrat in government then you need to pass the upsc exam and get into ias okay and he had passed this examination previously during the british time this exam was taken in london only okay and among all the most of them who attended it were britishers among all the britishers Subhash Chandra Bose got fourth rank that he considered very very great achievement of an Indian but instead of going for a government job he returned to Calcutta seeds of revolution were planted in his mind due to the insult attitude and pride of the british professor at the presidency college when he was into the presidency college at calcutta the the british professor made insult of him and at that time only the seeds of revolt were sown into his mind he had decided that he will free india his country from the clutches of the britishers he was very interested in indian independence struggle he became an active member of national assembly see he joined the swaraj party in 1923 he was very soon a popular leader among the youths he was a youth icon at that time he was in the top in civil disobedient movement and therefore jailed many times at the young age of 41 he was elected president of congress convention at haripur see he even became the president of congress at haripur surat and showed showcased this ability he left the congress as difference of opinion with gandhi but his ideas were different from gandhi ji they were not same he respected him but subhash chandra bose believed that we can not beg for independence we should snatch it and that's why there was a difference of opinion between gandhi ji and subhash chandra bose and that's why he left the congress and he established a party named forward block to awaken uh, placebit against the british had traveled placebit means to get the public into his support against the british he traveled most of the regions of india he was arrested under indian defense code so he was arrested many times and imprisoned during imprisonment he was ill treated he was imprisoned at his place of residence as his health was deteriorating okay first he was put into prison but later on he was put under custody into his own house <coughs> since he was unto the death fast means he decided to do fast until he died because the treatment which was given to him and the other prisoners was not good as per subhash chandra bose now from there what he did he escaped okay he escaped from his own house which was under the britishers and he went to the other part of the world he disguised this right he traveled in the disguise of pathan from calcutta via peshawar kabul iran and russia later on he reached berlin and that is germany on 28th march 1942 indian living in germany gave him warm welcome so he was welcomed right by the indians who were living in that time he urged the people of india through berlin radio the british came to know about him when at that time when subhash chandra bose 
gave the speech on berlin radio and it was heard by the britisher in india and when they searched his house he was almost gone like a wind to fight against the british empire he also met hitler in germany and discussed the detail about the independence of india he then went to rome and paris to establish the military units for independence of india and recruited 3000 indians into the army ras bihari bose a revolutionary living in japan changed all the organization and established indian independence league okay so a, a formation a group of formation was done and the name of the na- association was indian independence league to make india free azad in force was set up a presence of 100 indian delegates of malay japan sumatra java hong kong borneo andaman burma were organized okay so indians living in all this south asian countries were collaborated got together and they decided they should form a army to fight against the britishers and the name of the army was azad in forge and in that mohan singh okay in that mohan singh a prisoner war arrested by japan was present moreover rasbihari was voluntary retired as the head of ina and ultimately when Subhash Chandra Bose got into INA. Ras Bihari Bose voluntarily retired. He said that as I would leave the post, so now Subhash Chandra Bose can become the head of INA.